Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we will understand how to recode the variables. But first of all, let us try to understand what is recoding. Basically, recoding of the data is, is done to convert continuous variable into the categorical variable. We will try to explain this by the sample data which is employee data. This data is available in samples folder of the SPSS. Now, here we are having a previous experience. I want to convert this continuous variable into the categorical variable. So first of all, I'll require the range of this previous experience. So I'll go and analyze descriptive statistics, descriptives, and I'll try it out, I'll find out the range of it. Click OK. And the range is 0 to 476. Minimum is 0. Maximum is 476. Now, I want to create the intervals 0 to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 300, 300 to 400, 400 to 476. How can I do it? So, I'll go and transform. Two options are there. Record into same variables or record into different variables. I will never recommend that you use the first option because this will change your original data and therefore always go for the second option record into different variable now transfer previous experience here click on old and new values click on range now specify 0 to 100 now the new name will be 1 we will be giving the name what is 1 here but now 0 to 100 is recorded as 1 101 to 200 will be recorded as 2. 201 to 300 will be recorded as 3. 301 to 400 will be recorded as 4. 401 to 476 because 476 is the last number will be recorded as 5 add continue now we will come on the main screen again we are creating a new variable and it is a normal custom that whatever operation which we carry out on any variable we prefix that operation so now i will write down here our previous experience here it can be Decode it or let it keep our previous experience. Press change. So this will be changed. Click OK. Now let us go in the data again and you can see here that this previous experience based on the interval. See this one 144. It is in the second interval because 100 to 200 was in second interval. Now what is this 1, 2, 3, 4? I want to give name to it. Okay. So I'll go in variable view. I'll go click here. Now I'll start naming. What is one? So these are the people who are in the range of zero to hundred experience. So I'll say that these are trainees. And two. These are the people from hundred to two hundred. So I'll say less experience. And three is moderate experience and four heavy experience five they are now experts click and okay now you go in data view and you can see that the continuous variable has been converted into the categorical variable. Basically, we convert continuous variable to, categ to categorical variable for performing some test. And this is one of the method in which you can convert continuous variable into categorical variable. For more videos on SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist in which I've already uploaded many videos of SPSS. Please don't forget to press the like button. 
You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter.